Okay, guys, so let me give you an update on what's happening here. So about three hours ago, I saw the video that uh, that demon put out, and I made a video. There has been a two-minute video, two-minute video uploading for three hours now. This is what the Nithya and Anda goons are doing to me, okay? And um, so that demon wants to say that she put uh, a comment over here, and I got rid of it. I am sick to death of her lies and slander about me. I am sick to death of it. So she is an outright bald faced liar. I have had to call Spectrum to have them reset my phone because they're stopping me from using my, my, uh, my phone data, my data. Um, I, I'm done with this. Um, so here's what's happening. Um, I finished getting rid of everything else in my house. What, what the Holy Spirit led me to let, this morning, actually, was all of those t-shirts that I bought last year that had all the Buddha on it, the Zen, and the, the sage on it. And all, I threw all those t-shirts out. The, the, the foot mat at the front, of, at the, the front door of my house had the yin-yang sign. Got rid of that. All these things I had to get rid of out of my house. This demon here has been attacking me mercilessly for the last two days. And what it's doing right now is telling me that it's getting ready to leave. Um, it has been trying to attack my liver and my pancreas and attacking me sexually. It's not getting anywhere. Okay. Um, what it has been doing all day now it has been putting this feeling of anxiety throughout my entire body. This is one of the feelings that happens. It's one of the symptoms that manifests in the form when these demons know that they're getting ready to be cast out. Um, the other thing is I'm massively nauseous. I feel like I'm going to vomit. Um, two of the main symptoms that happened. This thing is getting ready to get cast out. I have today prayed to the father and asked him to loose his angels, his sword carrying angels to bind Nithyananda and all of his goons and this demon here and put this demon in the pits of hell and never let it out and to put Nithyananda and his goons in prison for the rest of their lives and let them sit there until they beg the source for forgiveness. Let them sit in there. And after I made that prayer, this thing started with the feeling of anxiety in my form and the nausea. So if the angels are on the case. That's really what I want to say. Um, this is all moved beautifully. And I want to show you uh, this morning, actually, uh, it's in a tea tree bottle, but this is the anointed oil that I put the video up there for all of you to show you how to make the anointed oil. This is the anointed oil. I put in three spaces on my forehead this morning, and I also put it on the crown chakra up here, the anointed oil. This oil will only be used for the work of Jesus Christ, and that's it. So I will keep anointing myself with this oil to get this demon out of me, okay? So this thing is on its way out, finally. It's, um, it, it, it's really been attacking me mercilessly. I woke up twice in the middle of the night in my, in my sleep and just started screaming at the top of my lungs. I cast you out. I bind you. I command you to leave. Just, I, I was sleeping and then I just woke up. I command you to leave. I bind you with chains of fire, the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Twice, twice. This thing will not leave me alone. It's hurting me constantly now because it knows it's leaving. You see, this is what's happening. Also, what I was shown was uh, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I will be back in church for the first time in a decade. And um, I was shown that I will meet somebody special through this church. And my life is about to change dramatically. So... 2022 i am so ready um but I, I i i even the thought of that demon over there just makes me physically ill 
She is such a massive liar. I'm so sick to death of her lying about everybody. I am sick to death of her lying about everybody. No, I never saw a comment by her. How she can sit there and say it like it's fact that I deleted it. I never saw it. Nithya and his goons are hacked into my page. You all know this. You all know this. And she said she uploaded the, the, the video. It was up to 90 something percent and then it disappeared. I, I suppose she's going to blame me for that too. Nope, that was them. They're hacked into her stuff. They're hacked into her stuff. But let her keep showing who she really is. That's all I want to say. Because this really is coming to a head. It's coming to a head now. The Lord is done with this. You see, here's what I can tell you, what I know to be a fact. I've told you guys uh, this whole way on my path that um, it's been fighting with these demons that have, that have made me go deeper and deeper and deeper into the self to keep doing introspection, introspection. I kept going deeper and deeper and deeper. Instead of getting off the path and doing something stupid, I just kept going deeper and deeper and deeper. See what's happened. I'm where I need to be right now. I'm where I need to be. Now it's a matter of settling in this place, settling in this place, getting comfortable with daily prayer, uh, daily reading of the scripture and, um, deepening, deepening. And, uh, these demons have no more role to play in my life. They are being removed and the angels are on their way to get them. And that's really all I can say about this. So a wonderful person I'm getting ready to meet at church and uh, a whole new life for me is getting ready to start. Praise God. And I thank Jesus Christ for every second of this entire path. I thank Jesus Christ for every second of this entire path. And I'm ready. I'm ready to meet that someone special. I truly am ready.